Who's your pretty girl? You pretty girl? Oh, look at you. Yes, you are so good. Oh, hi. <laughs> I didn't see you there. Oh, what's that? Oh, you want to know if praying mantises make good pets? Oh, well, <laughs> funny you should ask because I was just thinking of five reasons why I think that praying mantises make great pets. Which brings us to number one. Oh, sorry, number one. Reason number one why praying mantises make awesome pets is that they're so darn pretty. Look at this girl. She is so lovely. She is a giant Asian praying mantis, mature female, and she is actually expecting babies, so she's very plump, but she's just so pretty. And not only can they be green like, you know, you'd think they are, also came prepared. <laughs> They also come in so many different colors. Some look like leaves, some look like sticks, some look like flowers, some are golden, some are pink. The varieties are just endless and no matter what you like, you can find something that you will think is... Uh, um, you can... you can find something that you think is really awesome looking. Um, let's leave her there for number two. What is number two? Ah, number two is that the care is pretty easy. And of course there are exceptions like, you know, the um, devil's flower mantis, which is pretty lovely, beautiful. However, very difficult to care for, but if you're looking for something with really easy care, you have so many options. One like this girl, so easy. Don't need a lot of humidity. They, you good? They don't need really any extra special heating or much, you know? So there's a lot of mantises that you can get that really don't need much extra care at all. You know, you gotta feed them, you gotta give them water, and you gotta give them a place to live, but you know, the care overall can be pretty simple. And that's why I think they're awesome pets because if you go with a more simple to care for variety, it really doesn't take that much, right? Right. Which brings me to number three. I really should have, I really should have memorized what they are. Three. <laughs> As you can see, mantises are very interactive. They notice you when you approach them, they'll look at you, they are inquisitive and curious, they're easy to handle. Not all of them, but many mantises are very easy to handle and they're pretty fun, you know, great for kids, um, great for if you want something that's not super aggressive. Um, they won't really hurt you, and I will say I have been grabbed by a mantis before, and um, when they grab you, it sucks. It hurts a little bit, but it's really not that bad, and um, they're most likely not going to do it unless they're not going to attack something that they don't think they can eat, and I don't think they're going to think they can eat you, although this girl's pretty big. Aren't you? Yes, you're so pretty. But yeah, they're very interactive, they're inquisitive, they want to know what you are, what you're doing, which is a bit different than some of my other animals, like my tarantulas or my scorpions. They don't really care about you at all, and they really want nothing to do with you. But most of the time when I open up my mantis enclosures to feed them, they'll just walk right out. And I never force my animals to be handled. I always, you know, put my hand up to them, and if they're interested, cool. If not, cool. But I noticed that my mantises are pretty much always interested in coming out of their enclosure, exploring, walking around, just, you know, hanging out. And, okay, I'm gonna put you on my shirt. You're, you're being difficult. Here, go here. Thank you. Okay, which brings us to number four. What's number four? Oh, this one is kind of sad, but we're gonna think of it as a pro this time. Um, and that the, that's that the time commitment with a pet mantis is pretty low. 
Um, sadly, they don't live for very long. So when you get a mantis, you're not looking at something that you're going to be taking care of for years and years and years and years, you know? Um, like a tarantula, you know, they can live 20 plus years, so that's a big time commitment. But if you just want to try out an invertebrate pet or just any pet in general, mantises are great because you can get them as a baby and watch them grow up, which is so awesome. I got Scyther here when she was little tiny thing. You get to watch them grow up, which is so exciting and awesome and fun and cool and great. And then not only that, but you don't have to worry about long term, you know, they're not going to live longer than, you know, a lot of them will go like a year, maybe a little bit longer. They won't make it two years normally, but it's pretty low um, time. So while it is sad to see them go, I guess it, it can be reassuring if you're not ready for a long time commitment and you just want like a pet, a cool pet that hangs out with you and is enjoyable and is cool and exciting and adorable and she poked me. Why are you? Anyways. <laughs> Number five. Number five is that um, they're pretty easy to get. Um, the easiest way is that you can go to your local, um, what are they called? Home Improvement? Home Improvement store that carries plants. And they often will sell Chinese praying mantis eggs. And while I don't think Chinese mantises are the most ideal pet mantis, um, they are an option and you can go and get an egg, keep it in an incubating habitat, and then, you know, once it hatches, you're going to have a lot of babies. And I've seen them for maybe $20 for two eggs. If you're willing to buy online, there is so many options for mantises that you can get. I got this girl online and um, I think she cost me maybe $15 plus shipping and it was awesome. There's, I've gotten pretty much all of my mantises, all of my mantises, all of them. I've gotten all of them online and I've had no trouble with shipping as long as you follow guidelines and you make sure that you get express good quality shipping. Um, I have my orchid mantises, I have violin mantis, ghost mantises, all of them have come to me in the mail and they've been totally happy and healthy when they arrive and I've paid very reasonable prices for them. There's a lot of really awesome mantis dealers out there like I really love Arthropod Ambassadors and also Madam Mantis and you can get some amazing mantises from them and their inventory is always updating. It's not hard to get, it's not terribly expensive, of course they can be, you know but um, you can get a really good priced mantis for, and it's pretty easy to get a hold of. So I think that makes it awesome. It's not something that you have to track down unless you're looking for an orchid mantis, which you may struggle a bit. I know I did, but anyways, I mean, I don't know. So I hope that you go get a mantis now, if you want, no pressure. And, um, yeah, I mean, get one. Enjoy. If you do, let me know. If you want any, if you want any more information about mantises, my top species of mantis that I recommend for beginners, any care, or also any more videos on why other, what are you doing? Why other invertebrates make really good pets like tarantulas and scorpions, let me know and I will provide it. But for now, I'm going to put this girl back on her plant. And, um, yeah, say goodbye. Oh, um, subscribe or follow? I mean, subscribe if you liked it. I mean, no pressure. You can also find us on other, all our other social media platforms are also under the name of, um, Slightly Venomous. And yeah, we'll be here. We'll be chilling and we'll be having a good time. And you're so precious and you're very precious and you did so well. And I'm so proud of you. Give me a high five. High five. Can we high five? Oh, okay. Good enough. Good enough. Say bye.